So, there's some buzz about Mia Khalifa offering marriage advice, and it's raising a few eyebrows. You know her, right? The former porn star who became an influencer. Yeah, that one. Now, I want to be clear, I'm not here to bash porn stars or anything like that. But let's talk about Mia Khalifa's advice on marriage. Oh, we're comparing stats. Baby girl doesn't know that I am Tom Brady at this game. Married at 18, divorced at 21. Second marriage. Married at 25, divorced at 28. Third engagement. Engaged at 29, ended it at 30, but I kept the ring. I'm still keeping Tom Brady on his toes. We should not be afraid to leave these men. We are not stuck with these people. Marriage is not a sanctimonious thing. It is it is paperwork. It's something it's 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 a commitment you make to someone. But if you feel like you're not getting anything from that commitment and you're trying, you got to go. You got to go. You have to go. I know it's difficult to fill out paperwork and to make appointments and to do all of these things, but this is your fucking life. Do you want to be stuck with someone? It's period. Do you want to be stuck with- By her own admission, she has two failed marriages and a third one that failed before even making it alter. Yet, she kept the engagement ring. Classy, Mia. Real classy. Not the best track record, huh? I mean, seriously. Should we take advice on relationships from someone who struggled with marriage herself? It's like asking the Lizzo for tips on how to lose weight. She says, I got married, felt the guys weren't good enough and left. Shouldn't we figure this stuff out before saying, I do? By the age of 25, she had been married twice. That's a red flag right there. Of course, no one should stay in a terrible relationship, that's a no-brainer. But hitching your wagon to someone you barely know, and then calling it quits? Prenups come to mind with this kind of advice. Here's the thing, marriage is supposed to be a lifelong commitment. It's about working through your issues together and not just throwing in the towel at the first sign of trouble. In today's generation, we often see people jumping ship at the slightest inconvenience, thinking the grass is greener on the other side. But come on, let's get real. Ultimately, relationships are complex, take effort, understanding, and patience. It's not about instant gratification but growing and evolving together as a team. If we all gave up whenever things got tough, there would be no lasting relationships. Now, don't get me wrong, if a relationship is toxic or abusive, you should definitely get out. Nobody deserves to be in a harmful situation. But walking away because you think your partner isn't good enough, or because you didn't get what you expected is a problem. It's no secret that Mia Khalifa had a successful career in the adult film industry. But many men have expressed reservations about dating someone who was once involved in explicit content production on platforms like Pornhub or OnlyFans. While people are free to make life choices, it highlights the reality that some people might struggle to accept a partner's past in the adult industry. This could be a significant factor in Mia Khalifa's relationship challenges. We don't need more paranoia and bitterness in relationships. We need love and trust, right? There are plenty of things Mia Khalifa might be an expert in, but maybe we shouldn't seek her advice on marriage. Just saying. Excuse me? Baby girl, divorce is expensive for everybody, especially if you're the one who has to pay the alimony to the broke-ass bum. What you are saying with this statement is that you, personally, would sacrifice your independence and your freedom and your peace of mind and your happiness for a little financial stability? At, at what price? At, like, at, at what cost? To me, to me, that seems way more expensive than, I don't know, a couple thousand dollars to break up? What? Like, y'all really gotta stop conditioning yourselves to to feel like you can't take care of yourself. You are not at the whims of these men. You can leave and start your own life. You should leave and start your own life if you're not happy with everything. Everything should meet your standards, otherwise get the fuck out. So, what do you think? Let's have a chat about it. What are your thoughts on this? Share your thoughts in the comments. 
Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay up to date with all our latest discussions. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.